Have you ever wondered about the origin of the battle between good and evil? The long struggle that spans across time and space? As Dawn of Faith, we want to take a deep dive into this conflict and shed some light on this constant battle between right and wrong, between truth and deception. We will take a look into the journeys through centuries that have witnessed persecution and torment because of their stand against evil. But amidst the chaos and darkness stands one who has ever been expressed in truth and in love. Truth must prevail and love shall conquer all. Hello Don of Faith viewer. We trust that you have been well and God has kept you well. And welcome to today's episode. And in our last episode, we've been looking at a myriad of things. And we hope that you are learning a lot. If you're noticing this is our studies get deeper and deeper by the day. And today we want to explore yet another deep truth from the Bible regarding our salvation. And this is the message of the sanctuary. Yes, there is a sanctuary in heaven. And there was also made a miniature sanctuary on earth. What was it? What was it teaching us about? That is what we want to explore today. And so shall we pray even as we begin? Our Father in heaven, we simply ask that you may guide us into all truth. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the book of Exodus chapter 25 and verse 8, God is talking to Moses and he's instructing him on what the children of Israel should do. And he says, And let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. And the reason why God asked Moses and the Israelites at large to make him a sanctuary is because he so desired to be with the children of men. He so desired to be with Israelites. And it is still God's desire to date to be with his children. And that is the greatest gift that we can give to God, that we may first make our hearts a sanctuary unto him, that God may dwell in us. As a matter of fact, Paul writes, and let these words of Christ, you see the words of Christ are just as powerful as Christ himself. And he says the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. To mean the words of Christ dwelling in you is just like Christ dwelling in you. Let the words of Christ, let Christ richly dwell in you. It is God's desire that he may dwell with you. And so even as we study this subject of the sanctuary, we want to study with it with the understanding that it is God's greatest desire that he may dwell with us. He may dwell with us, the children of men, the son of men. What a privilege. The God, the creator of the universe, wanting to just dwell with his people. And so, and let them make me a sanctuary that I may dwell among them. But you may ask yourself, so what did God expect the children of Israel to learn from the sanctuary and its service? And in the book of Psalms chapter 77 and verse 13, it gives us an answer. And it says, Thy way, O God, is in the sanctuary. So God's way, or rather, the plan of salvation was revealed in the earthly sanctuary. So everything in the sanctuary and the services that were connecting with it were a symbol of something Jesus would do in the saving of humanity. It's funny how like just every little detail of the sanctuary has a symbol that was pointing out to about what Jesus will do. So it was a big 3D image explaining the process of salvation. That is what the children of Israel were to learn from the sanctuary. And it is also what we can learn from the sanctuary. And we can ask ourselves, since this sanctuary was a miniature model of the heavenly sanctuary, then where did Moses get the blueprint of this sanctuary that was to be built? 
And in the book of Exodus chapter 25 and verse 40, it says, And look that thou make them after their pattern, which was shown thee in the mount. So uh, this sanctuary message had a pattern that Moses was showed in the mount where he went to meet God. And so the blueprint of the sanctuary and its specifications from its constructions to the things that were to be installed in the sanctuaries was given to Moses by God on Mount Sinai. In the book of Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 5, it says, Who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For see, saith he, that thou maketh all things according to the pattern should to thee in the mount. So God was very specific as to how the sanctuary was to be built. God gave clear instructions and through that the Israelites were perhaps able to get a glimpse of the plan of salvation and what God was doing for man in his plan. But the most important lesson that we want to pick from this episode is it is God's desire that he may be with men. And I pray that it will be your desire to be with God. And if you long to understand the plan of salvation and see what God is doing for your sake, then he has promised us in the book of Psalm 77 that his ways are in the sanctuary. So if you need to understand this, then I welcome you to follow us through this series of the sanctuary study that we may delve deep and learn more on what God is doing for our salvation. So God bless you and see you in the next episode.